All right, we are just about ready to get started with the next run. We have Edhead SR running the Pokemon Ultra ROM hack. This should be a real treat for all of you Pokemon lovers and uh, horrible game lovers out there. Um, so on that note, let's throw it over to Ed. Let's throw it over to Ed. All right. Uh, all right. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> welcome. This is this is a really bad game. I, I don't know how to get started. This is Pokemon Ultra. Uh, we can hop in whenever everyone's ready. Whenever. So, uh... Let's, oops, let me reset real quick, and then we can get ready to go. I'll count down for time. Can All right. truly be ready for this, though? I, <laughs> no. That, that, there's, there's a simple answer to that, and it's no. You, there's, there's no such thing as being ready for Pokemon Ultra. There's such thing as being ready to uh, deal with it, but not ready for it. Anyway, uh, three, two, one. Go. Right. So, th this generally, it follows the typical pattern of a Pokemon game. You collect the eight badges. You want to uh, go to the Pokemon League and defeat the Elite Four, but it has its own really, really weird twist on it. Uh, it's just really poorly made. That's the twist. <laughs> do, do we have any name for the character or no? Can I just go with whatever? Uh... It's Dracula. Okay, Dracula, cool. Oh my god, my controller's not being very nice to me right now. See, even the controller doesn't want to play this game. No. Doesn't want to have to experience this. Can't blame it. Alright, just enough namespace. And I don't have a rival incentive, so... You know what? Uh, there we go. You're welcome, Ami. <laughs> ah, yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So I'm mean, responsible for introducing you to this. Yeah. So it's only fitting. I can't tell if the, uh, I should be saying thank you or uh, cursing you with every last breath I have in my body. Either is acceptable, TBH. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so immediately upon exiting, you can see that there's something wrong with this game. Uh, just, just a couple things wrong, you know, nothing major. Yeah, it's, it's a little flawed, don't? <laughs> so, uh... We're just not gonna go into the door. We're just, we're just gonna go inside Lapras. Uh, Don't think about that too hard. No, the, the less you think about it, the better. All right. I actually can't remember what Pokeball uh, Squirtle's in, so that's really really bad. I think it's middle. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I'm gonna have to save anyway because I want some decent stats, and I also gotta fix my options. I just realized. I'll do that first. Fast off set. There we go. All right. So, we want some fairly decent health, or we want some fairly decent attack, special attack, and speed. So, if we can get some decent numbers in that, hopefully 11 or 12 special attack, ideally 12, then we won't have to reset. Hopefully we'll get lucky. And, yeah. So, uh, alright, that's runnable. Cool. That's a really good start, and we just picked up a Master Ball because this game's balanced. Yeah, uh, the, the starter is also level 6 for some reason, yeah. not 5, like it typically is. <laughs> for reference, this is the first of uh, two Ultra Balls, or Master Balls, that's a bit of a spoiler, but it doesn't... Wow, well, I can't believe you're spoiling this <laughs> wonderful masterpiece. Yeah, everyone's, uh, I'm sure the chat is absolutely uh, furious at me for this. You don't get repels until, like, the first gym, so for a while here, there's just going to be a lot of free time where we're just walking through caves. This isn't even the worst cave, and already you can see that uh, uh, my, my luck is setting in because we've gotten two encounters in this cave already. Yeah, that's, um... If we get little... three, that's really in... A... Oh my god! <laughs> we just... Rip! I've never... I don't think I've ever gotten three encounters in the cave. Wow, okay, so for some people marathon luck's really good luck, for some people marathon luck's really bad luck. I think we've already, if this is a hint of what we're to expect, uh, don't expect much. Maybe I should have stuck with the old estimate. So, um, while we're just getting the Oaks parcel here and not much is really going on, there's water in this town? 
yeah. that uh like surfable water except you can walk on it because uh, what is collision detection yeah as, as, and there's and, water here that you can walk on well that's like normal oh yeah normable, that's that's normal walk <laughs> normable <laughs> i'm gonna pick up this potion actually just because uh a little bit of extra safety hi bye <laughs> uh yeah but, i'm just gonna yeah take so that. there's surfable water that you can walk on in the town uh, and you can actually get an encounter. Yeah, you can get a by, two different Pokemon the, there. Sorry. Yeah, the ninety-six percent chance of getting Slowpoke and a four percent chance of getting Latios. Uh, the Latios comes at level fifty, so it wrecks everything in the game. And since you have a Master Ball, you can go ahead and catch that if you really want to. But RNG manipulation is just not reasonable. So. Yeah. Not a, also the like chance of getting an encounter yeah uh walking on those t tiles is pretty low too so it's really like not worth it. you'd probably reset like 99.8 percent of your runs in order to get a one god run at that point it's just not worth it uh, yeah, basically. interestingly enough this is a retextured lorelei which you can see when cynthia walks uh we're just gonna pretend we didn't see that because that's probably the least broken thing in this game yeah honestly of all, right. all the things that were changed. Yeah. <laughs> For example, uh, Ami's now invisible, apparently. Yeah, so th this is normally the part of the game where, you know, the rival comes up and uh, you're given Pokedexes. Except the rival sprite is not there, but the hacker forgot to remove the text yeah, of the rival. Yeah, because the text isn't part of the rival script in the game. It's part of the lab script, so they didn't remove or edit it, so it's... Uh, yeah. At least that's one of the more Polished. forgivable mistakes. Like... Yeah, like, that's at a least, little... Mm, but... Yeah, at least I, I, I didn't know how to edit that script for a while. So... Also, level one Pokemon. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the levels in these areas are just really, like, they fluctuate from just anywhere, so... Uh, I'm gonna do some more safe shopping here. We're gonna get six and three. Normally I'd get s or either five or seven, but because we picked up that one potion, I can save a little bit of money for the future. Because there's a point in the game where money does get really tight, just in between the first and second gyms. So, here comes <laughs> the most annoying thing in this game. It's... Uh, yeah, definitely. Like... I, you don't know the amount of oh I just bonked. You don't know the amount of times I've wanted to reset a run just because of how annoying this cave has been for me. There's a reason I don't have a timer on my side, and that's because I'd rather not get into a really bad mindset because of how annoying this cave is. Yeah, so like a typical run through of this cave is what like nine or ten encounters. I, I've counted it, and I've gotten yeah. Sometimes I'll get like a twelve or thirteen, so it really depends. Also, yeah, chat, there's, uh, there's Sableye in this cave for some reason, which, uh, oh. good luck doing stuff to it. Ooh, there's also Arena Trap Diglett, now that you mentioned that, so... Oh, yeah! Yeah, Diglett with Arena Trap. That's also <laughs> so fun, because now... you can't run away if it has Arena Trap, so yeah. you have to waste time killing it. So, uh, that'd be really funny to encounter. Uh, I guess if that comes yeah. up, I'll donate five bucks, because it's really unlikely. Yeah, the real the real fun encounter anyway is the cave after this one. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> oh no, I just no. I, I'm I almost contemplating saving before I enter the cave just because I I have so many issues with this cave. Like it just. Eh. Well, I have to save for the rival or for that trainer fight anyway, so I might as well save as soon as I enter the cave. Alright, we're almost out. <laughs> Freedom. Like... like, this run starts off really slow, and it's just very, uh, just a very slow paced, but once you get to, like, past the first gym, there's a little bit of grinding you have to do, and I know, grinding in a speed run. It's, uh, it's, it's sad, but it's like, uh, it's the most reasonable option, and through rerouting, we've managed to make how far you have to grind oops as low as possible you only have to grind like uh like five or six levels now which doesn't take very long at all uh this town's yeah. just called gloria because that's that's a town name apparently 
which is apparently also the name of... Obviously, you skipped through the text, but apparently that's also the name of uh, Cynthia's Lapras. Who knows? It, when you when you look at the text uh, back at the start of the game, when uh, Oak comes out of his lap to prevent you from going into the grass, uh, yeah. it says, here, on my Lapras Gloria. So I, Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It could also just be some really messed up text that's, that event at one point was meant to say to go to glory or something. Who knows? Yeah. Okay, so this is a little bit of a annoying fight. It can go really well or really poorly. Uh, in an ideal world, I don't get poisoned, and I just get, like, a bunch of... or knocked into, like, two health, but the odds of that happening, I don't think I've seen that very commonly, so... We're probably yeah, gonna... Yeah. Go ahead. Because Poison Sting's like a 30% chance to poison, and this thing has two moves, Poison mm -hmm. Sting and String Shot. Yeah, so it's like 15% every turn, if you think about it that way, to get poisoned. Which, uh, a little bit annoying. Oh, I just missed the tackle, okay. That's also annoying. That was okay. a 5% chance. If it actually keeps String Shotting me, it's... Oh, okay, well I got a crit, but this is actually worse than it looks, because I'm not in Torrent now. And I'd like to get poison so I could get into Torrent, but eh, whatever. Rip. <laughs> that, 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 that feeling when something that's normally good is bad. Yeah. A crit, a crit's good if you're poisoned, but that's the only time. Like, or if, if we get some crits on Kakuna here, we could get put back into a really good position. Anyway, the reason we have to fight this trader is because we just got bubble from that level up. Yeah. And so this gives us uh, an early little injection of experience and this kakuna can't do anything to us it yeah. just goes hard and so this is basically free experience it just takes a while to whittle yeah. down it wastes time but but it, if you you'd have to grind against multiple wild pokemon anyway and you'd get less levels for it so this as far as i know is the best way to get up to a high level by brock other than catching either slowpoke or latios which we all know how the slowpoke went where out went at least ami does <laughs> yeah i Tried Slowpoke, not expecting anything great, and it does really well in the early game, but then it crashes and burns pretty yeah. shortly after the first gym. As soon as, like, slow- as soon as, uh, Squirtle evolves, it's just actually miles better than- Okay, please- Please tell me this in- Okay, it's a Lunatone, that's fine. I was If I- You can also encounter Why Not in here, which is gonna be a little annoying for the ground- for the grind. Uh, yeah, because Why Not has Shadow Tag. Yeah. <laughs> now, thankfully, Why Not can't learn, like, Counter or Mirror Coat, so it, it, it it's, not it's not a threat as now. threatening as, like, a Wobbuffet, but it's still very annoying because you have to kill it. Yeah, it's more an inconvenience. It's... Yeah. Uh, fun fact, back when the, the this was in its infancy, the original route was catching a Kyogre, but... Uh... Ami absolutely destroyed the Kyogre route by innovating the Mewtwo, and also got way luckier than me, but still, yeah. it was a better route, by far. <laughs> but, like, was that one or zero? How many Why Nots did you have? Uh, I think I got, I don't think I got more than one, but yeah. I don't remember, it's been a while. It was, it was really funny, because I was not particularly impressed in chat, but <laughs> it was, it was a good run, though. Yeah, because yeah, I, I think... I think it's like a 10% chance of any given encounter being a why not in that cave. Something and, like that, yeah. And you get plenty of encounters in that cave. Yeah. Plus, like... what, what also made it better was basically all of my encounters were Lunatone, which <laughs> give good experience. <laughs> and special attack EVs. Against, and yeah, special attack EVs. So that helps power up your uh, water moves and eventually bite. Yeah, so okay. So it was, it was basically... The, the, the perfect run of that cave. Yeah. In terms of encounters, at least. This battle would have been a lot more intense if I was, was in Torrent. It'd be faster, but also scarier. I would have had to save, but I don't here. I will have to... I will, I'll probably save for Brock just for the off chance that I, like... He crits me or something, and I end up dying. It's not likely, but I've had less likely things happen. Alright, here we go. Now we can save for, uh, Brock. Actually, this isn't Brock, apparently, so I'll do my best reading of this text here. 
So you're here. I'm Etsy. I'm Glorious Gym Leader. Cynthia said that I know about Protector Pokemons. That's right. Well, people think that Protectors are Zapdos and Moltres, but no people. Anyway, uh, what Etsio Oditore Adori Canti? I don't know what any of that means, but <laughs> it's Italian, I think. Anyway, it's Assassin's Creed wannabe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I I don't know why it exists in the game, but it does. So. A lot of these gym leaders have interesting text. Uh, yeah, just the dialogue in general in this game is... Uh, it's amusing. <laughs> it's for, yeah. For lack of a better word. Uh, Special. Yeah. We should two or three shot this Onyx here. I believe it'll be a three shot, but uh, it might be a two. Okay, wow. Okay. I didn't expect that, but it is going to be a two shot. Uh, unfortunately, we got a used bind on us, which just adds a little bit of extra text to the turns. It's not the end of the world, obviously. It doesn't actually, like, put the run at risk of dying. It's just an inconvenience. Alright. Yeah, basically. Now we get to teach Water Gun. We don't need... We're not going to be using any physical moves for the rest of the game, so we can just get rid of Tackle. Like, we just well, don't need... On Squirtle, at least. Yeah, we're not going to be using any physical moves on Squirtle. In fact, we use very few physical moves for the rest of the game. Well, actually, no. That's a lie. Because we use uh, physical moves on the Pokemon we use in the middle of the run for a while. It actually gets less screen time than Squirtle, but probably it does more battles. Because there's so many battles just, like, put in closely. Uh, in the middle of the game, it's just a massive bunch of... Okay, so my main channel just got raided, so I'm just going to tell you guys to go to uh, Horror Evil Games. I have the link in my stream name. Anyway, we're going to get... Just, yeah. I'll also just throw it in the chat. So this is Lum. He's going to give us blue balls. I don't know if there's if that's intentional, uh, but it doesn't sound too good for our buddy, and he's now just spouting gibberish because most of the characters don't know how to form cohesive sentences in this game yeah cohesive i meant coherent but whatever uh we got the blue speed bubble apparently oh my god i actually didn't get an encounter that time <laughs> wow <laughs> fun so, fact by the way you can encounter uh level zero pokemon in that grass yeah you you can as a matter of fact because the levels are put between like zero and something uh now we're gonna do a little bit of shopping I don't remember completely the shopping for this. I think I buy... Uh, no. Three potions, two paralyzed heals, two awakenings, three repels. Okay, so I actually bought the potions already early, and I haven't needed to use one yet, so... I'm gonna... I can skip the potions and have a little bit of extra money left over if I need to buy another repel in the future. That's just a little bit of advantage and, of playing safe. And the awakenings are basically gonna be used immediately because I personally hate this trainer. Uh, well, there's two spots that you can need an awakening. This oh, is yeah, the most right. likely one. Uh, you'll see the other one probably in about 10 to 15 minutes, but we're just gonna spam Water Gun on this trainer. Let's see if we actually do need to use that here. Okay. Yeah, uh, this Clefairy does have Sing. And if and it uses... Called... Yeah, if it uses Sing, it tends to use Sing over and over and over again. Ooh, I don't like my health right now. Yeah, that's a little low. Please, oh no. Um, alright. So we might actually die here <laughs> already. <laughs> okay, oh use Pound. We're gonna Potion here. You know, maybe I should have bought extra potions now that I think about it. <laughs> okay, it encored me, I'm fine. Encore's the best thing it can use on you, and yeah. Okay, unless it crits like every double slap here, I'm fine. I shouldn't have said that, but I'm fine. Yeah, all right. So, that's probably one of the more annoying fights in this game. This is one of those weird games where the run gets easier and easier the further you get into it. Like, there's a serious difficulty spike in, like, two spots, and from there on out, the run's pretty much free. Uh, oh my god, you've got to be memeing. This is... Oh, boy. Great start. This is a good joke, actually. This is... Oh, we crit the first. So, now it encores me. 
something I want to point out about this why not is uh, for some reason splash is changed to have the same effect as dig. Yep, typing so and like all. The, yeah, like... the name of the move is still splash. The animation is the same, but the effect of the move is that of dig. <laughs> not that we'd be seeing the animations, but yeah. Uh, well, yeah. But yeah, there there are a few moves in this game that just are changed inexplicably. Yeah. I'm actually trying to save a little bit of PP here, so I'm gonna waste a, a turn or two using some more bubbles because I need some water gun PP for a fight coming up later on in this, uh, which is probably one of, if not the hardest, fight in the game. Yeah, it's definitely uh, up there in terms a of a risky fight. Yeah, the, this also. <laughs> he said PP. <laughs> Yeah, I said I said the funny the funny pee pee word. Uh, so we're gonna yeah do some grinding, but there are luckily some trainers in here that help us get a little bit of extra experience. Uh, thanks to them, we'll get a little bit closer to uh, that level that we need to get to, which is I think we need according to that, I'm gonna use there's a route that I think only goes to 19, but right now I'm gonna do 20 because it's safer. Every extra level is just a little bit safer right now for the first rival fight because uh, anybody who's played the original Fire Red and Leaf Green knows of the Nugget Bridge battle with the rival because that's actually the battle that they use for rival one. So <laughs> you're at a severe disadvantage going in. This is a joke, right? This is this is like quality. Am I missing the joke? <laughs> where's the where's the humor? <laughs> Okay, yeah. Well, uh, where's we're already... Where's the Yeah, where's, where's the funny in this? I, uh, this is just, like... It, it's also become kind of a meme that I have just objectively subpar luck. <laughs> yeah, if I if I was the one running this game, I'd just get, like, all Lunatones. They'd yeah. all die in a, with a critical. Really, dude? Okay, you're really... <laughs> I mean, at least it's not a why not? At least it's weak to water. And it's still a two-shot? Now I'm gonna miss. It just mud slapped me. Nice. Ooh. Okay, this is um, this is uh, there's this some is, sort of joke that I'm missing here. This is where we start playing dog song. Yeah. Um. Look, <laughs> well, you got a crit to make up for it. That was a second turn crit, which is actually worse because it adds an extra line of text. Okay. <laughs> welcome. To, welcome. Finally. A welcome visitor. Okay, it would have been funny if we didn't one shot at that and then it crit me to death. That 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 actually would have been hilarious. Okay, so there's a spinner right here that. Oh my god, what's the encounter rate for Lunatone and Soul Rock combined? Uh, like thirty or forty percent. And you're think, telling me I'm now one for five on getting Lunatones. Okay, two for five. I'm getting or two for six. Sorry. That's still significantly lower than it should be. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can encounter Soul Rock, but Lunatone is better just because it gives special attack. Eevee's uh, oh. Soul Rock gives physical attack. I could heal here. Not going to. Because I, if I die, I just get to heal my PP, which... Am I going to get an encounter? Okay. Nope. <laughs> Watch it be level 10 just to... Okay, level 8. That's... Still on the higher side, if I recall correctly. It's like... Yeah, I think it's like 6 to 10 here. Yeah. I thought I've seen... I thought I'd seen a 5 before, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, too, I just but... got Stun Spored. That's why we bought the Paralyze Heals. Pretty much yeah. entirely for two different fights in the game. Oh, Pokeballs are in this slot. <laughs> yeah. If you can't tell I'm a little rusty, I... Like, I, I... At one point, I just said, screw this game and put it down for a while. Okay. Wow. That's the luckiest I've ever been with a pair, is catching it in three turns. Uh, certainly better than uh, that one clip. That's on a Glad Jonas <laughs> heartbreaking it, RNG yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, that's a Moonstone. I don't need that. I'm paralyzed. Uh, I'm not going to be able to run. That's This is going to be really funny. Okay, good. Uh, we are a little low on PP right now, so we're going to just... Actually, no. What am I doing? My menuing's really bad right now, I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, we caught that. We caught that Paris because between uh, between War Total and Paris, we actually have really. We Ooh. really. <laughs> and oh my god! And it's a level ten, so I have to water gun. Hey, look! It dug a hole. Oh, but it's not immune. Okay. Yeah, it, it well, actually doesn't. It doesn't have immunity. I guess it didn't copy the effect of dig perfectly, which is All weird. Right. But so you guys, you're evolving. you guys think this Squirtle sprite's bad? Say hello to War Turtle, coming up right here. <laughs> I really yeah, don't. Out. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say shoutouts to uh, the like sprites having the wrong transparency. Yeah, the layer that was supposed to be used for transparency was clearly not the right layer, so it gives you this as a result. And obviously you don't want this in your ROM hack. A little bit of advice. A little bit of advice for all, all you aspiring ROM hackers out there. If you're trying to make a ROM hack and it looks like Pokemon Ultra, you're you're better off just quitting. Yeah, you might be doing something a little bit wrong. Just a little. Okay, so... That did three, which means I am in range to die to a crit here. So was, even though I lose torrent, I am gonna potion up the uh, to full here. Or I'm gonna potion here just so that if I do get crit, okay, I didn't get crit. So as always, it looks like I'm just being unnecessarily <laughs> cautious. But yeah, I mean, yeah, parasite. Then sorry, at least in like a marathon and, setting. Yeah, here. and we're already back into torrent, so it's not like we lost that much out of it. Are we going to need to... We might actually need to heal at the center anyway. Oh, God. Because our PP is just not looking good because of the why nots I got. I've had three why nots and a bunch of other things. Yeah, okay. three why nots in this is really unlucky. Yeah, especially because you're running 10%. Oh, my God. I just... I I, I accidentally belled them. Belled them? Hi. You're just getting all the... I'm getting all the, like... Crap today. Yeah. I'm getting the got... what? <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just I'm just lost for words. Please yeah, uh, kill. You encountered you encountered both Bacon don't kill me. and Beldum. Don't kill me. Don't crit me. Okay. Oh. A crit would not have killed me anyway. Would it need to crit and confuse me? But yeah, you encountered both Bagon and Beldum, which uh, another uh, quality thing about this is that there's no national pokedex so yeah, that even if you even if you encounter uh Bagon or beldum and you catch it you can't evolve it i tried to complete the national decks in this game one or i tried to complete the pokedex in this game once and i just couldn't because they didn't evolve yeah pretty good <laughs> this guy's kind of a savior for the run if you really think about it because he has three rock types that give off like experience in the hundreds that go down in one shot and barely do anything to you if you if for some reason they don't go down in one shot yeah this guy's just basically weaker brock with an extra geo dude well yeah basically uh and that'll get us to like level 17 and a half <laughs> or no no almost level 18 so now we just pretty much need a level and a half or a level and a quarter and then we're good to go for the rival fight uh, yeah, because we have that rare candy to give us an additional one. Level. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when he had to grind to, like, really? I'm just curious, on a checklist, have we seen every Pokemon in this cave now? I... Other than Solrock. I haven't seen Solrock. Yeah, you somehow haven't seen Solrock? <laughs> let, let me open up Advanced Map real quickly. Uh, I think I, I have. I have no idea where it is on this computer. <laughs> I'm I'm almost positive we've seen everything other than Solrock now. Why is this? And Solrock's like the second most like common encounter, so. Wow. Okay, that's a second bag on, and still no Solrocks. That's that's kind of crazy. All right here. On the bright side, we're getting a lot of special attack IV or EVs. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Does this go down in one? No, it doesn't. Uh, confusion, worst case scenario. Oh my god, it actually did. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you have seen 
uh, every Pokemon in this cave. Beldum was a 1%, by the way. And we just saw Soul Rock, and it's going to team wipe me now because I just got crit. Nice. Um, <laughs> okay, so Lunatone, I actually got my numbers wrong earlier. Lunatone's a 40% encounter. Soul <laughs> that's not. 20%. That's not true. <laughs> There's no way that's true. Uh, that, I, I'm looking at advanced map. I have to break it to you, buddy, but it's true. Oh, Why my. Not? Why not's actually 20%. Okay, well, that's... I... Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> I hate to break it to you guys, but I think World Record's dead. It's just a theory of mine. Uh... A game theory? <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyone who's watched my streams knows that this, is, this falls under a category of Ed Luck. <laughs> like... Uh, what's the what's the law that says whatever can go wrong will go wrong? Oh, is it right. Murphy's law? Which one is that? Uh, because I whatever it is, you could just rename it to Ed Head's law because it's it's more accurate. Uh, yeah, that is Murphy's law. That's what I thought. Cool. Yeah, it's it's basically just Ed Head's law. Uh, I can't believe your name is actually Murphy. <laughs> wow, okay, so yeah, we checked off an entire- all the Pokemon in this cave. That's very uncommon to, to see. Normally yeah, you- Yeah, Yeah. Bagon's 5%, Aaron's 5%, or Aaron, or however you pronounce it. The Beldum, like I said, is 1%. Yeah, so we've seen a lot of- like, we saw everything other than Soul Rock before we saw the 20% Soul Rock. So, so if you want a general indicator of how this run's been going so far, think about that. We need Soul Rocks. We've seen everything other than Soul Rock. Okay, my move. Oh no! Why'd I stop? Uh, oh, oh my God! This is all fall. It's all. It's all going into shambles now. <laughs> it's... So uh, this last has only Grass types. Oh no! This is this is why we <laughs> avoid her. Yeah, there's a reason I try. Oh my God! I'm. S and I'm. We don't even have bite. I'm so sorry to the host of this event. You should not have chosen me. I am so bad at speedrunning. All right, if it keeps sweet sending me, we're fine. All right, cool. We got a crit. Nice. It's a very good thing we we actually died and went to the center now, because <laughs> that's actually Imagine what's that. that's actually what's saving us now. Because they only have grass type moves and. We would have had to sw We would have had to let Paris die to Grass type moves if it has just killed me, or we would have had to kill it. With both of which are, oh, it actually has Rap. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> so just ignore what we've said. Uh, we're we're just like lying to you. I I apologize, but that's the truth. We we were liars. Uh, now we're level nineteen. Let's try to get this run back on track now. How about? <laughs> Uh, now we get Bite. This is the reason we need to grind, because we need some th something that does good damage to grass types. Because you saw how long it took us to kill a level, like, 10 grass type? Imagine that on the level 18. Because that's what we're going to have to do coming up. That's just not going to work. Uh, yeah. It's like, uh, level 18 Bulbasaur. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try my good old bait strats that I, that I used to use, just to try to... Uh, because there's a very slim chance, I don't see it very often, that if you use Water Gun on Pidgeotto, it switches into a, a Bulbasaur, and then you get a free turn on Bulbasaur. Okay, N nice for my last encounter. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> now that we have Bite, that's not a problem, though. It's just... Yeah, that, that is super effective, but just for the memes. Yeah. <laughs> we were, we're ending the cave the way we started off, by encountering a Why Not... And it's like, why not doesn't even give good experience? No, too, it gives, the like, the worst experience out of anything in this cave. Oh, I don't need the potion. I need rare candy. Okay. I'm gonna potion anyway, because I can. The five experience, who knows? If I end up live, living an attack with less than five health, then, uh, yeah. You can, uh, subscribe to me on Twitter. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> because, <laughs> at... No, I'm never right, though. So this is Ami. We finally get to beat Ami. Um, you, I have to do I, this I to you. I finally make my proper appearance. Yeah, other that than... absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, true. Uh, so, so we're going to try to bait it. Probably not going to happen. Yeah, no. All right. 
Oh, okay, this isn't a great start. If it can... Oh, I shouldn't have bit used... Oh, never mind, that's fine. Um, so hopefully we get a flinch or two on Ivy's, or on Bulbasaur. Because that, this is the toughest Pokemon we've faced so far. It can crit, it can put you to sleep. Okay, that kills yeah, me. It's just a very that just kills me now. Nice. <laughs> Alright, uh, if I potion, that gives me just enough health to survive another attack. And before, like, damage roll. Or crit. Or sleep powder that misses. That were <laughs> that, That's actually really good. Now flinch. Okay, yeah. Sleep powder that hits this time. So now we're going to switch into Paris real quick. That's because, the reason we get Paris too, because that yeah. can give us a turn to awaken. And it's it, quad resists. Uh, there was a point in which I considered using... Uh, actually, I actually didn't need to switch. I would have been fine. And I could have healed up and would have survived an attack and then killed it the next turn, I think. But whatever. And before crit vine whip on the switch. This is it. That was a damage roll. Oh, it was in. It was in. It was in overgrow. Why did I not think about it being an overgrow? And yet again, I, I forgot about that too. I continue to embarrass myself in front of. <laughs> Please donate to charity so I feel better about myself, guys. If we get good, if we get a bunch of donations, maybe I'll feel less bad about my contribution to this marathon. And it's for a great cause, so. There's really no reason not to donate. Yeah, definitely. We're uh, $85 short of the current goal we have here. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's such a great cause. There's, in fact, I would, I will personally weird champ people who think that this is not for a good cause. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so rematch. Let's let's remember this this time. We're in a lot less of an ideal health range right now. We're probably going to need to switch in to heal. Poison powder? Uh, I'm sorry? I didn't even know it had poison powder. <laughs> All right, thug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we just survived po- This- yeah. This fight's a big reset point. If you can't tell. There's so many different just memes that are involved that, that that's just The good news is like after this fight it's fairly smooth sailing. We get we can get crit by Misty or Confused, which So Misty's like the only hard fight remaining. Yeah. I'm actually gonna use most of my remaining mm, I almost used it on Paris. <laughs> I caught myself. That's the only impressive thing I've done this run, is having quick reflexes. Alright, so now we can afford to switch in and we should be fine, but... We don't want to let Paris die, because... Uh, if we do need to switch in for one more heal... I am really, really sorry. You guys, like... <laughs> there's a reason po you don't see Pokemon a whole lot at speedrun mar- You've gotta be memeing. There's a reason you don't see Pokemon at speedrun marathons all that often, and this is the reason. RNG up the wazoo. Yeah. But bear with me. We should be good now. Yeah, all right. Yeah, because out of the remaining Pokemon, one is a Rattata, which I believe has Hyper Fang, but... In before Rattata crit. Why did I use Water Gun? Okay. <laughs> and the other is the Abra you're seeing right now, which... Um, Can't you know, damage you. Teleport. Yeah. So... You would literally have to stall it out of teleport PP in order for it to damage you. And it'd probably still kill itself in time because you've got pretty solid defense. I s- okay. Please kill. Mm okay. Okay. Wait! No! Okay. <laughs> I'm really not thinking anymore. Okay. <laughs> that was- that was scary. If okay, anything- I Okay. I only defeated you once. Yeah. All right. So my record against Ami is one and one. I am your your best best for friend. I am just kidding. Funny. Do you believe me? Like this text is just so, for lack of a better word, just like uh, brain dead. Um. There's a shop here. I want to buy a super potion and like one other repel, since I have a little bit of extra money on me. In fact, I'm actually gonna buy another potion <laughs> because I'm not. Because of the way those fights went, I'm not particularly fond of my, uh, health right now. 
So also, uh, pay attention to this warping here. Like, we exited the shop, we popped up in the sign. Yeah, and then the warping after this. Like, I, there's it, there's a very specific reason I have it specified to go to the Mart first. And, and then the center. It, it's closer, it's closer, so it makes more sense, but even then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would be the reason. You, you... <laughs> yeah, I mean, last time I checked, that saves a uh, good amount of time. It's... Uh, compared to having to pop out, go around. Uh, there's just no reason to not go through the mart first. So, Misty's gym, or I guess Helen's gym, because apparently this also isn't Misty, just like Brock wasn't Brock. Yeah, this is... For some reason, Misty is named Helen, which mm -hmm. and I believe the text uh, calls her Cynthia's sister. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so... So far, the... the the relevant char characters in the Cynthia arc are uh, Helen and uh, it's to be determined if, if if it's Gloria. We'll never know. We'll never know why it's called Gloria. Uh, so right before that first swimmer there, there was like some water tiles you could walk on. For some reason, you can get an encounter on those. It's 100% chance to be star you, I believe. And it's 100% chance to be very unlikely. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that too. Double flinch here would be nice. Okay, d flinch supersonic miss is just as nice. Uh, so we just took zero damage, which means we don't even need a potion before Misty here. Because I'd rather not have a repeat of, like, be because we've already seen enough go wrong and I've learned my mistake from my mistakes for saving here. My in-game time's not even that bad, but the issue is I've reset because of dying so many times. <laughs> if we're going by in-game time, there's a chance this could be a solid run. Okay, yeah, there is a uh, small chance of it being Starmie. Uh, what are the levels of a Starmie, out of curiosity? Uh, Starmie specifically is, can be uh, level 15 to 18. The star you okay. can be 10 to 15. So it's probably not worth at all routing catching another Pokemon. At the, at the point of the grinding we go through, there's no reason to switch Pokemon. It's just... Oh, yeah. I was supposed to do Water Gun there uh, to right. get it so that it didn't use Super Potion. But at least now it can't use its Super Potion on Starmie. So, Water Pulse can actually confuse me. It's, I think, a 10% chance, and... I think it's 20, actually. Uh, well... If it's 20, I'll probably get confused. If it's 10, I'll probably get confused. So we'll figure out based on that. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds good. Alright, so let's see. Oh, Swift. Okay. So Swift can do like 10 to 11 and then 20-something if it crits. So... Ooh. This is in fact dying range, but I'm gonna risk it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it as famous last words at a marathon, but... <laughs> I wonder if we can still go underestimate. I gave myself a lot of wiggle room, considering my, uh... Considering it's like 17 minutes off the best time. Like, that's because how RNG reliant this game can be. I, I, I need all this wiggle room. <laughs> People might have been thinking, why is he gouging... Why is he gouging the time just so we can have extra space? I'm not. This... This could go this wrong. So now we get to teach Water Pulse. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I teach it over. I'm going to teach it over a Bubble. Because I'm not going to need Bubble at this point. I could have taught it over uh, Withdraw, but I would have had to scroll down further, and I'm a lazy human. Okay, I almost forgot the tiles in here. But yeah, Water Pulse is a very nice TM to get because there's going to be an upcoming area with a lot of trainers, and oh. there's going to be rain yeah. in that area, so that'll power up Water Pulse and make it even stronger. We like to call it the gauntlet. It's technically a double gauntlet because there's two different areas, but one of them you only have to fight one trainer, and the other you have to fight like every single one of them. Which so. uh, is ten trainers. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's a... Uh... But after that, the game gets quite interesting, because you get to see just how broken it is in full... I can water gun this, in full display. Yeah, and also after that point, it's uh, fairly simple. Yeah, we, we're going to be saying goodbye to our good friend uh, Squirtle. Why didn't I repel? 
Eh, whatever. I, I, it doesn't really change that much. I will repel a few steps uh, at the next location that we need to. All right. Now there's a fisherman coming up here. That <laughs> can I say something? Uh, <laughs> hmm? uh, anyone who's going who's going up against this fisherman, I definitely recommend before you battle him, you open your menu and heal because it's very important that you're at full health. So definitely open your menu and heal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Make sure you're healed. Might even want to save. <laughs> yeah, definitely save. Please don't listen to us. Oops, there's a glitch in this game uh, where if you uh, talk to or if you menu in front of a few different characters, it actually uh, breaks there or it actually does something weird where it switches you with the trainer. And then you get to move about two tiles. Yeah, it, it's if you menu or if you get into a battle. So like if you surf. Uh, by that fisherman and get into a wild Actually, encounter. I don't know where the rare candy up there is. Never mind. I think that messes things up too. Oh, yeah, you got... candy's like towards the top right. <laughs> I didn't need to battle that guy. I was <laughs> one step too far to the right. It's only. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it's only one, and then I remembered this butterfree. Yeah. And I met. Ooh. So for someone who missed the first thirty minutes of this run, what am I watching? Um, you're watching what happens when someone screws everything up, up and decides to push it out. Alternatively, you're watching you're watching what happens when someone who shouldn't be making a ROM hack makes a ROM hack. I'm gonna yes. let Paris die here, as a matter of fact, because uh, this Butterfree can just stall me out completely, and I want to get a if I oh yeah if I can get a stun spore off on this thing, okay. And now I can just let Paris die. I don't think it can actually, this thing it can actually damage me, but it can just status me to death. And that's uh, quite annoying. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, for the record, in case anyone missed it, you can skip this trainer. It's just he accidentally stepped into yeah. this guy's I, line of fight. I went, I got off, my muscle memory was screwed up because I went a tile to the right to see if I, because I was going to go get a, uh, Soup, or I was gonna go get a uh, rare candy and <laughs> realized I didn't know where it was. Okay, please yeah, hit yourself hidden... in confusion. Good. All right, so we're there's dead. Hidden ra there's okay. a hidden rare candy and a hidden citrus berry at the top of this route. The rare candy is towards the right, uh, citrus berry to the left. This this map is based off of Route Six. Yeah, it's the route yeah. separating uh... Saffron and yeah. Vermilion. Wait, I'm using Water Gun. I could have Water Pulsed and this battle would be over now, but okay. Oof. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do this just so that I don't make that mistake again. Alright. So, thank you to anyone who stuck around, because this run's been really bad so far, but I... I promise. You can, you, you'd have to really screw up to mess it up the further you... I didn't heal. Or I didn't heal Paralysis. I'm really screwing this up. Watch, you're gonna you're gonna run into the uh, spinner. Yeah, the spinner's not this. annoying, or it's not bad. You can't die to it. It just wastes a turn, or it wastes yeah two or three turns, I think. Ooh, I only have one paralyzed heal left. That's a little iffy, because I need at least one more, maybe two. So uh, I might have to buy a full heal at some point. Uh, why am I? And you might think now that I've got Water Pulse I uh, and, and Water Gun, I don't really need to conserve my PP because Water Pulse will one-shot everything, but there are 10 trainers that we have to fight in a row. So I will be Water yeah. Gunning anything I can. Absolutely anything that I can Water Gun I will be because even if they all had two Pokemon and by some miracle they all went down in one hit, I still uh, would barely have enough PP. Yeah, the, these these final ten trainers that are coming up are uh, Squirtles, or I guess Wartortle now. Uh, his, his swan song. Yeah. Because he's going to be ditched immediately afterwards. I'm a god. Easy easy spinner manip. That actually does. It actually is a spinner manipulation, and I'm not lying, I promise. There is a bag so, manip. So but. here's the funny thing about this. Yeah, the funny thing, except there's only one. Here's a funny thing about this game. You can actually skip all of the gyms uh, up until the eighth one but i mean you have to fight them eventually to uh yeah. be able to access the eighth one but there's 
nothing stopping you from saving a gym for later, like we just mm. did there. If there was a way to enter the fifth gym, or the eighth gym early, then this run would be, like, an hour flat. Probably even, way less than an hour flat. Like, it'd, it'd be kind of crazy if, if there... There was the potential to be able to do that, but there just isn't, so... Yeah, Unfortunately. That, that part is, like, the same as yeah. regular Fire Red yeah, and Leaf Green. Yeah, for anyone who played a re Fire Red and Leaf Green, you're not allowed into Giovanni's Gym until you have eight badges. That's... Most of these scripts are stolen from Fire Red and Leaf Green, so... Uh, yeah, there's, there's... There's a lot of things that are just not changed. Like they just they just plop all the trainers into the one one area pretty much. That's the yeah, only. Like this is this is the route to the east of Vermilion, and they just decide to plop all the. You have to fight all ten of the trainers. Yeah. And they just squish them all in one area too. Like, yeah. Why not? It, it makes for a good finale for Squirtle though, because, or for War Turtle because it just it, it kind of displays. Uh, right now, how good Squirtle still is, because I can pretty much one or two shot everything here. Yeah, and the rain also powers yeah. up waterfalls and water gun. Uh, it's actually quite a good thing that we have no reason to use Squirtle. <laughs> if, if, if there was no other option other than Squirtle for this run, it'd be like multiple hours, because you'd have to grind, because there are just no trainer battles in this game, and you can't buy X items. There are no... There aren't many mandatory trainer battles in this game beyond the gauntlets, and you can't uh, get X items, so. Yeah, I, I'm i going to be right back, actually. I need to get for just a quick second. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, for people who are used to the traditional Pokemon speedrun, this is a little bit different because, yeah, we don't have access to X items, which uh, you commonly see X items used in speedruns as a way to uh, overcompensate for underleveled Pokemon. We can't do that, so we have to overcompensate for underleveled Pokemon. Or, sorry, they undercompensate for lower level Pokemon by using X items. We undercompensate for, or overcompensate, sorry, for lack of X items by using overleveled Pokemon. It's a weird backwards logic, but it works. Yeah. Because there yeah, are, cause... yeah, we switching mains uh, twice in this run. So, Squirtle's not the last, or Squirtle's, the, the Pokemon we're about to catch is not the last main we're going to be using. Yeah, basically. Hopefully soon. Which, uh, oh. speaking of which, that, uh, the, the, the Pokemon that we're about to catch is, uh, uh quite yeah. fun. It's, uh... I, I, I may have made one of my emotes, uh, based yeah. off its sprite. Yeah, eh. I didn't one-shot because I'm not in Torrent. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Normally I'm in Torrent at this point, but I had to fight, uh, Butterf Butterfree. I'm so used to autopiloting through these areas of the game that I'm just... Certain things that normally work aren't working right now because of my health. I'm thinking. But, yeah. Uh, this was Trainer 5, yeah? Yeah, so we're about halfway through. I don't know if you guys have been reading off donations throughout the uh, marathon, but if if you if there are any donations, it's not a bad time to read something out if there. So. I'm not sure if they're still in the call or not. Uh, yeah, they are. All right. Well, if there are, go ahead. Yeah, because this is a, a pretty boring, dull game. part of the game. Yeah. There's not really much to commentate over. There's. We go from one gauntlet, the trainer gauntlet, to the gym leader gauntlet, and that's when it kind of gets interesting because. There are some actually tough battles coming up fairly soon. Hey, but... uh, just uh, wanted to give a little reminder that this is a charity event. We don't actually have any donations uh, just yet, but just a reminder, this is a charity event for Child's Play. So if you guys would like to participate, mm -hmm. uh, just do exclamation point donate and uh, any amount helps really. So yeah. thank you. It's it's for a great cause. There's. If you've if you've got the funds, I know it's still a fairly tough time because we're still in the middle of a pandemic. But if you got the funds, it's a good cause. And yeah, even just a dollar or two yeah, is anything else. appreciated. I'll definitely have to like look into that later. Right yeah. now, I'm obviously I kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, so I don't feel like multitasking. <laughs> yeah, I. Um. 
<laughs> I have to go through my parents for all my financial affairs right now, so I'll have to check with them after this run, but for sure if I'm able to, I'll definitely try to get something in. We're nearing the- oh my god. Yeah, we're- <laughs> we're only- we're only halfway through the gauntlet. It's just- this is- eh. I, I, I promise, once we're once we're past the gauntlet and we yeah. enter that like cave entrance, things will uh, stick with us. Speed up, get more interesting, mm -hmm. all that. Cause it gets very fast paced. Cause right now we have two gym badges. Uh, yeah. Within the next twenty minutes, we'll have five or six. So yeah, basically. it definitely pays. The pace speeds up, and it's not like these are all cakewalks. Uh, one of, if not, or one of the hardest fights in the game, and I say that for a lot of fights, because all, a lot of the fights are so easy that the hard fights are very emphasized. One of the hardest fights in this game is still coming up, and then after that, <laughs> the, the fights between, uh, pretty much anything between gym badges, or four and getting your sixth badge are kind of annoying to deal with. Because there's a fight against uh, a guy who uses primary rock, primarily rock and ground troops, which doesn't fare very well with our new main. And then there's... Yeah, we can get poisoned in that fight, and it's not fun. So, we're going to be hopefully getting out of this soon. We're still... <laughs> as long as you bear with us, just for a little bit longer, I promise... In the it, meantime, I will attempt to think of some interesting trivia related to this game. Yeah. Like I said, or actually like we said earlier, there was an attempt where at one point we tried to use Slowpoke. And this area is why Slowpoke is not a viable choice. Uh, yeah, because it, it, it basically reaches the same level the War Turtle is now, even though you catch it at like level 20. Lowest level 20. Yeah. And it ends up giving you a disadvantage. Because it yeah, actually, it's, it's, it's slow. Its special attack is actually yeah, not that it, great. One actually, like a level twenty something uh, slowpoke is already uh, beaten by. As soon as you get to War Turtle, it's already worse than slowpoke. It's already worse than War Turtle once you evolve it. So there, there's definitely, uh, and, and you wouldn't think that slowpoke would be that much worse than Squirtle. When, when they're, one's a turtle, one's made to be slow, you'd think they'd both be fairly similar, but it's actually quite a big difference. And, and it makes a lot of a difference when it comes to outspeeding some Pokemon that could deal some serious damage to you if, they, if you didn't. Yeah, and, ju and just be also being able to do enough damage to mm -hmm. uh, KO them. Because Slowpoke actually has worse special attack than even Squirtle. Yeah, I forget what uh, War Turtle's base special attack is, but I know Slowpoke's is like 45. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just, I'm no just going to drop this in the chat. Yeah, no no comment. Uh, it looks like a deformed Rayquaza, but it's actually a Zapdos. Believe this... it or not. <laughs> it's <laughs> So this is a level 50, <laughs> and we're going to be putting also, our Master yeah. Ball to good use. Yeah, so it's at this point of the game where if you use your Master Ball on something, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah. Because... Uh, I don't know why they kept this thing at level 50 other than Elamea was changing a script. <laughs> yeah, they could have done, like, just changed the script to make it, like, level 25, and even then it'd still be a little broken. I'm gonna buy a few items here that I'm not sure I particularly need... But I'm gonna buy a couple hypers just for safety and one revive. So, Two four. So here's a fun fact. Um, so Zapdos was changed. Light spoiler alert: Moltres and Articuno are also changed. You don't actually uh, get to see you, Articuno in this, I don't think. Yeah, you don't get to see Articuno for some reason. You just it it it, it yeah. it's. Zapdos and Moltres are mandatory lines, encounters, though. and yet they they just never make you have to. Oh, uh, so now we get to battle this guy who is actually the Tyrant Ian. Yeah. So, anyone named Ian in chat, uh, we're about to beat you. Also, apparently you're a Tyrant, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. It does, it's not looking very good for you, pal. Might want to consider a name. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, 
personally, I really like the name Ed. You might want to change your name to that. So you will have to pay royalties to me, even though that's not my actual name. You guys want a little fun fact? Go right ahead. Yeah, sure. The Pokemon Arcania was originally supposed to be a legendary with the trio birds. Oh yeah, Arcanine. But yeah. they, but yeah, Arcanine. Yeah, I said it wrong. But they removed that idea because they thought having more than three legendary figures like that would be a little bit overbearing so they yeah. stuck with just three and it's, it's called the legendary pokemon in its description and it, it also has more stats than yeah. your typical pokemon and in the anime yeah. there's uh, uh a point where there's like some sort of scripture or a painting on the walls that has the three legendary birds with arcanine yeah so we're gonna use the just a little skill. fun fact yeah some interesting trivia to fill some of the more boring spots because a lot of these fights are very trivial right now uh, the more interesting part, uh, the point of this runs not to be very intense past the beginning. It, it's to, it's to get you to laugh at just how painfully bad this is. Yeah, basically. Also, my stream's messing up. Hold on a second. Oh, whoopsies! That's not the right tile. And it's now I have tile. to watch an ad. Yeah. <laughs> this is the right tile. There we go. All right. So we're gonna get the HM for Surf. Interestingly enough, in this game, you get Surf before Cut. Normally, you'd get Surf just after the 6th gym, I believe. Yeah. No, just at, yeah, between the 5th and 6th gyms, depending on which order you go in. Because you can go Sabrina Koga or Koga Sabrina. This is... And, uh, so this area has a bunch of grass, and in it, you can find, like, all the starters. Also, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Yes, you can. I actually had that almost end one of a Nuz my Nuzlocke of the game because I encountered one of them, a Suicune, and it just bubble beamed everything and one shot them. So. Yeah, because the, the the dogs are at level forty, the starters are all at level eight. And okay. yes, by the way, the starters do include the other Cantonian starters, yeah. so you can go ahead and see the other monstrosities if you missed yeah. looking at them at include, the lab. Include all nine starters. Uh, so, this is the last part where I can really say for right for a while that we can just coast an autopilot through, because, uh, we don't like Koga here. Um, yeah, the, the gym next door is Koga, and he is a bit high level, and he also has physically defensive Pokemon, which and he can poison you. is drill tech. Also, yeah, poison. So, that's why I built, bought a few full heals, so that uh, in the event that I do, and a hyper potion, so that in the event that I do, I can't speak. In the event that I do get poisoned, I'm fine. So, he was just too lazy to do anything to Koga's map, it's just a straightforward. It's just here, have another gauntlet. Yeah, because we haven't battled enough trivial trainers yet. Yeah, exactly. Also, shoutouts to all these trainers uh, using only psychic types. Yeah, in a poison type gym because logic. I never understood that design choice of Gen 1. Yeah, Gen 1 just does some stuff really weirdly. Like, like the trainers in Giovanni's gym use with most, like a lot of fighting types too. And they're just, I think the issue was there was a lack of Pokemon and they needed variety. Because when it came to poison types, there were the starters, the plants, which you'd already seen with Erica. Poison actually makes up, like, about a fifth of yeah. Kanto's Pokedex. But when it comes to it, how many of them you haven't seen at that point in the game? Like, yeah. you've seen... I mean, you could have you could have given Koga, like, a Nido King, because you would have seen probably <laughs> Nido Reno yeah. at most. Yeah, actually, I don't know why they didn't do that. Honestly, I, yeah. I, I once tried to make a ROM hack that was just Gen 3, but better. I, <laughs> it gave the gym leaders some more Pokemon, but I'd definitely like to see a hack where they expand the Pokemon rosters of trainers a little bit more. I'm sure there is one out there. Uh, if anyone wants to drop the name of it in the <laughs> chat, then uh, shoutouts to them. But for now, we'll just cruise through this gym. They're the only trainer. So, so uh, I forget. Do you give Zapdos Shockwave? No, we don't actually. We we keep Shockwave 
uh, for later on in the game because that's we right. get a Pokemon that's even better than Zapdos that can take even more advantage of Shockwave. So yeah, that means you have to. Oh, I didn't on get to see my attack game. there. Uh, I'm gonna check oh. that real quick. We want it to be yeah. somewhere in the hundreds, and it's modest and it's ninety something. That's me. Oh, that is actually the worst thing. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna check real quick. See how bad ninety four negative attack is. At level fifty one. Zapdos at level fifty one. Okay. So. So, so if I wasn't going to save for Koga, I certainly am now. <laughs> because he could be a very, very big problem now. With the, uh, yeah. In case you haven't seen, my luck's been quite subpar so far. Overall, this has been quite a roller coaster ride. Uh, uh, so your attack ID isn't actually as bad as I thought. It's going to be either 17 or 18. Okay, well, it's still minus attack, so that's... yeah. That kind of gets rid of the advantage of having 17 or 18. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, you could just plaster my face over the bad luck Brian meme with my runs today. Um, I'm going to heal two Pokemon, actually, because I do want... I might need to switch in because of how bad my attack is to... Uh, at, at some point to War Turtle To use Surf or something. And I'm going to save because... Again, we don't like Koga here. <laughs> So this is the scariest fight we've seen. Oh, my! mine froze for a second. That really had me scared. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, that really had me scared for a second. <laughs> uh, if I'm not afraid of the fight, I'm afraid of my own computer now. Um, so Koga looks... Wow, we don't even one-shot coughing. At least we get it to use its Hyper Potion already. That's actually probably not a bad thing. Because now it can't Hyper Potion. Oh my god, we're going to throw so much PP right now, though. Mmm, I don't like this at all. I don't like this whatsoever. Please don't minimize. In fact, actually, minimize is... Ooh. Oh, Acid Armor. Crit. <laughs> now we want a crit. Okay, well, that's fine, actually. It didn't minimize the second time, so we're perfectly fine. Yeah, Wait, it has two hypers? Too. I'm so dumb. It has two hyper potions. I did not... <laughs> you see... Yeah, this uh... muck is, like, just atrocious because okay. it has minimized. I think it has acid armor, too. This might be a reset, as a matter of fact. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is... This is, uh... Creeping into reset territory. Big F. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, say Abandon goodbye. Abandon ship early there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny how much of this run is just taken up by A, resetting, and B, resetting. <laughs> because... Yeah, it, it just, it, just little things, like, well, not necessarily little things, but, like, it, 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 it's just, the, the attack on Zapdos is actually fairly important. Yeah. The attack, because you only use physical moves, is very important. Yeah, Crit you, I, and poison. This game's very oof. nice to me right now. So it's going to actually hyper right now, so I'm just going to antidote because I can. Yeah, ideally you want an attack stat In, uh, uh, just a above little bit above 100. Yeah. Anything like above 100 and Koga's fine, because you one-shot his coughings. Yeah. But I don't you do that. You guys got a second? Yeah, sure. Yeah. We have a thirty-five dollar donation yeah, nice. from Anonymous with no uh, Damn. no message. All right, well, so, thank you. Yep, thank you, Anonymous, whoever that may be. Okay, yep, it very much Just is. Hit. That puts us. Just that hit. That puts us. At... Just hit. <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> the game You're doesn't want fine. you to, to to mention anything about the charity. Go ahead. I'm of so course. sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the gamer is at Ed. We'll never know. But uh, the total currently is 350 We are only $50 away from me ugly crying. So if you guys want to see that. Uh, <laughs> I want to see that. Very nice. Please. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll try to ugly cry for as, you guys. As a matter of fact, I don't want to see that. I need to see that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you right. will actually die if you don't see that. 
I will exactly. I will ugly cry if he doesn't ugly cry. <laughs> the ugly Already. cry is necessary. Yeah. It very much is. I promise I don't hate charity. It's just I want I want to not die here. Okay, we got through Koga. <laughs> also, just wanted to point out that smoke screen does damage. That's another move that was changed, like with Splash. And they also made Fire Blast less accurate, and... It has uh, 255 power, I believe, too, and that's a normal type move. And they also made Scary Face less, er, uh, a damaging move. Alright. Right, Scary Face, that's another one. So, now we get to, uh, since we have Surf, we get to go back to our favorite location. First we go through Demo Crazy City. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Um, I'm not smart. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, everyone stop watching too political. <laughs> okay, so this is this is a lot less annoying to run into now though, cause it's just a one shot. Oh hey, look, it's a squirtle. <laughs> now we get to see that atrocious front sprite. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so but, yeah, so now we got to go back to where Misty was, because the game definitely uh tells you where to go here. <laughs> Yeah, you go back to uh, where Misty was. There's a bit to the right of her gym where you can surf. Yeah. And you you need to go there now to okay. make okay. progress. Yeah. Um. If you want to know a more in depth, more in depth stuff of this game, definitely check out Ami's playthrough of it. Uh, it does a lot better of fleshing out the pure stupidity that is this game than I I can ever do in an hour and forty five or forty minutes. So, yeah, if you if you want to see more of this game, and I don't know why you would want to, but... <laughs> if, if, if you're bored one night at 8.47... Yeah, if you're having one of those midlife crises, and you want us... Oh, I didn't... I didn't repel. Alright, well, you know, we're, we're gonna yield to it for you guys, and that didn't work well. <laughs> we're gonna yield to it for chat, and for immediately gets an encounter. Alt main wingler on when? Alright. Now we get, yeah, now, so this game does remove some of the redundancies of going through these locations, because it just tosses you into the entrance, apparently. Because it, it doesn't, yeah. not, it doesn't the, understand. The, the, like, warp locations are oddly helpful for backtracking purposes, mm -hmm. because... Uh, you, you actually never get the fly HM in this game. The only source of fly is to catch a Rayquaza. Ooh, I was supposed to buy some max repels. Um, I can make up for that by buying a few regular repels here. Because we don't actually need very many repels. But... Yeah, you're only gonna... As long as you have one at the end of the cave coming there. up, you're good. I just bought six just for safety. I probably don't need that many, but... We take those. Anyway. Oh, no, that's not where I want to go. Okay. Yeah, no, you... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I, I just want to point out, too, that house that's, like, right below Misty's gym yeah. that you need to uh, cut to get... Oh, yeah, if you talk to... Yeah, no, you no, Just no. pass by talk, yourself there. Talk to that guy. Anyone who's new, anyone who's playing that game, talk to that guy. Yeah, definitely. It's a very fun dialogue. Um, yeah, he actually says some really, really controversial stuff, and I want to know your guys' opinion. If you talk to yeah. me, freezes your game. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah, so the house uh, below Misty's gym, uh, if you go through there after getting cut, okay. then uh, you... It, it's one of several houses that just has this weird layout. Like, you go downstairs, and then if you go through the downstairs floor, you just end up back upstairs but if you go back what have i done you... oh yeah what you am I? surf across oh i'm <laughs> i just come my memory's not been what it's what it used to be recently like i i've been forgetting everything uh <laughs> all right so now we get to fight ami hopefully we'll improve our one and our one and one record to two and one because uh we really don't want to have a losing record against this <laughs> and and, uh, as you can yeah, tell... If, if you lose this fight, then, uh, something's really wrong. Yeah. As you can tell, because Ami has is... not gotten better at all. Yeah, like, this is SS and Rival, so, you know, there's, like... Uh, three a level levels. difference. Like, everything except the Pidgeotto has evolved. That's mostly yeah. the, the power creep there. 
Yeah, because Kadabra was like level six, or Abra was like level sixteen or something, and uh, Bulbasaur was level eighteen. So this is like level nineteen or twenty-one. I don't know. I, it's twenty. I think it's twenty. Actually, I've just how did I how did I like gouge it by going to the two numbers that weren't right? Yeah. Also, I hope you enjoyed Ivysaur's sprite there. Mm -hmm. Uh, sadly, we don't ever get to see Charizard's sprite, but uh, shout out shout out to the Char to Charmander's line. Uh, unfortunately, maybe if we're yeah, running, I... if we're running a little bit early, which we're not gonna be, and the other person needs some more time, uh, we can hop over and just encounter a Charmander. <laughs> yeah. Just for just in respect of respect. Actually, I no, never mind. Uh, never, ignore me. I, I'm still not saying anything that makes sense. Just, just pretend I'm not talking, please. But anyway, we just got the cut HM from Lum? Question mark. Yeah, uh, right now... There's a ledge up there you could hop down. Oh, yeah, I'm... And you have to hop down, I think. Yep. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> if, yeah, like, I've been misplacing stuff around my house. I'm genuinely, like, having issues with my memory recently. <laughs> I think I've, I think there's been carbon monoxide slowly creeping into my house because I've also been having headaches. So, uh, if I'm found dead in my room in a few days, yeah. We know why. <laughs> I'm also just bad at the game, so I, I can make as many excuses as I want. I'm just not good. So that makes sense. That was a very logical warp. Yeah, definitely. But we have cut now, so there's basically all the. It all the uh, issues left with the game in terms of beating it are, are all trainers now. Please don't make me repel. Wow, that game's... That's that's uncharacteristically kind. I was trying to make up for earlier. Yeah, don't worry. We're gonna get a perfect... Uh, our, our, our main switch is gonna be, like, modest. Well, not modest, actually. Like, calm. With perfect IVs. So yeah, this is, uh, I think, the one instance of cut. Yeah. There's one instance of cut and a couple instances of surf, and we're done with our HMs. I think they... Yeah, Actually, that's... wait, no. I think no, you need we cut surf... to enter the cave up ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They make us use for absolutely no reason. I believe this is an ether. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, that one's an ether. Pretty uh, nice pick up. That's very important for their future. If not, we would have to heal an extra time at some point in this run, because we wouldn't be able to use that elixir. By the way, that grass that he just uh, waltzed by there, uh, basically a guaranteed ra a random encounter every step. Yeah. And, Very fun. oh, here we go. Uh, this is one of the less trash looking sprites in the game with the issue being that it's just not coded or that the background is just not colorless. Like they yeah, didn't, they don't have a right transparent. transparency. Yeah. If it was transparent, I honestly right. wouldn't mind. So. I've decided that I have, I no longer like to fight that guy first, because I'd rather not be poisoned during the battle here. So, yeah. this is Sabrina. Sabrina here, Sabrina here is another trainer that if you open up the menu while she's on screen, mm -hmm. then uh, you're just kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah. If you can't tell, whatever we tell you to do in this game, just don't do. In, in, fact, okay, in fact, just don't play the game. That, that's a way to avoid getting baited by us. Just don't play it. <laughs> the only way to win is to not play. Yeah. Uh, don't fall into the trap I've fallen into. Uh, the creator of this game is holding me hostage at an undisclosed location. And if I, uh, if I stop doing runs of this game, I get cut off from the outside world. So, please help. Hi. So that was that was that was Serena. <laughs> but yeah, it, that was Sabrina. Um, if you couldn't tell, it wasn't it wasn't even interesting enough to merit our conversation on the topic because it's literally four one shots even with a modest uh, Pokemon. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, this part of the game we're actually going to be getting our second Master Ball soon, which opens up. If only we didn't have to fight this guy. <laughs> nice walking animation, by the way. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Boss Giovanni, who... Uh, Kamigi? Uh, Monka TOS? <laughs> uh, 
he, he had blood coming from his mouth. That's horror, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I completely forgot. <laughs> please, please don't take us down. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to switch real quick. Uh, we need to switch into uh, another Pokemon because we just don't kill Rhyhorn fast enough. Yeah, and that Rock Blast is doing entirely too much. Yeah, so we're gonna switch I'm into... Sure, I'm pretty sure Wartorn will... Yeah, will Surf is like a one-shot, I think. <laughs> oh, there's the... Great! <laughs> Fantastic! Thank you! <sighs> that's that's a good one. That's a real good one. This is why we bought the revive. <laughs> it's now, a very clearly, clearly you uh clearly you just wipe here and then you don't have to fight them. Yeah, definitely. That's how the game works, yep. Yeah. Now that we've grabbed the badge. Wait, Kyogre strats confirm faster? Wipe here, Pepe Laugh? Okay, well now, now we're fine. Uh, that that was a little bit concerning, but we made it out alive. You see, well, out of all the... Well, don't too soon. He still has two poke. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but, but, but... Oh. <laughs> I mean, if you want to let me get a few more attacks in with Torrent Surf, because I'm not going to give you a free turn. There we go. All right. But so, yeah, so after after this trainer, we get our second Master Ball. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, our good pal Brendan made a trip from the Hoenn region and has become a multi-billionaire because he now owns a Sylph company. So he's going to be paying us with a Master Ball. And if you can't Which tell, this is, my, this is my lazy attempt at uh, passing off this as a well-made plot. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna need to full heal here, as a matter of fact. Wait, wait, please don't. Okay. We good. Alright. Unless we low roll here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just asking to be put in some, some sort of instant karma compilation right now. Yup. Uh, but, but uh... that's just how speedrun marathons go. You either get really good luck or really bad luck. But yeah, so Brendan gives us the second Master Ball, and uh, if you're playing this more casually, you have several options to yeah. choose from. We have one options to choose from. <laughs> Initially, we used it on Kyogre, yeah, but, but then I tried out Mewtwo, which was uh, yeah. an infinitely better thing to try out than the Slowpoke. Yeah, so definitely <laughs> shoutouts to Ami for just being overall better than I am. At routing. Yeah. So um, Mewtwo, you I, get in the one. Nice spoiler, buddy. Oh. Whoops. All right. So wait, I didn't repel. <laughs> no. uh, I I don't expect to get an encounter that quickly. So. Um. Whoops. Not master balling a level one ditto. That would be a. Yeah. That, that would be run that, over. Yeah. What am I doing? But yeah. So you want to repel for this? Yeah. Thank you for Cause. telling me, because I, 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 apparently my brain and my, uh, my my muscles are not sending the right signals to each other. Yeah, because as you saw, the dittos are level one, and I already spoiled what it was, because for some reason I thought it was already said. It's a Mewtwo. Thanks a lot, Ami. Yay. So, yeah, this thing is just at level 70. <laughs> and... Every other legendary you can find is at 50. Yeah, so there's just there's just no reason to use anything else. Like... Also, this thing comes with uh, Psychic, which for some reason is 100 power instead of 90 power. I mean, it's only a very slight power boost, but it's still everything. Every, every bit matters. Yeah, plus it's also super effective against the... Entirety of Agatha's team. Yeah. All right. Uh, before I rooms. before I forget and end up going into this fight with Zapdos in the front of my party because uh, with the with my streak right now I'm totally going to. Yeah. If you can't tell, this quiz is just the it's literally just Blaine's gym, so it's A B B B A B, and my yeah, controller. Yeah, thankfully the quiz is just completely unchanged. Yeah. Uh, and there's also no randomness to this quiz. It, it, it would have been interesting if there was some randomness, because at least then it would have made this a little bit more interesting. 
Because then you'd be able to... <clears throat> I wish I had some water on me. I've been talking for so long. You're almost free. <laughs> yeah, it's almost over. I, 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 for a second, because I was just got off track, I forgot which question I was on, so I was almost going to press A, but... So I had to uh, pause for a second. Alright. Uh, the, the Blaine fight is... I mean... It's pretty much how Blaine goes in every, every Pokemon game. I, I genuine question. Has anyone ever had difficulty defeating Blaine? I haven't. Um, it's also because I'm a hardcore Squirtle fan, though, so... Yeah, I think the only time I've had difficulty with Blaine is when I've done, like, a low-level run. Yeah. And so I'm, like, a third of his level. It's also because but I... in terms of, like, just a regular playthrough, then... Yeah, no, no trouble. Alright, so... Yeah, Psychic just allows us to absolutely make mincemeat of these Growlithes, uh... So, that's not exactly uh, a difficult fight. Here's so that. It makes sense to me to basically everything. Yeah. Here's that um, legendary Pokemon that uh, the host was talking about earlier. Arcanine go purr. <laughs> no, you can't call a Pokemon a legendary without it actually. Or the legendary Pokemon without it actually being legendary. Game Freak. Okay. Uh, anyway, just, just like that, Blaine's defeated. There's one badge left now. Mm hmm. Oh, and. and critical. <laughs> Useless crits. Uh, so, there's a spot coming up where, some crit, where, where a lot of our attacks are actually two shots. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how if we can get some crits just to shorten these turns for me. Obviously. Yeah, there with the nerds. yeah obviously, uh, world records far from the realm of possibility at this point, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be overestimate. I don't know how far we are in right now. Uh, it looks like an hour 25. Ooh! Coming up on an hour 26. Hmm, actually. It's gonna be close. I think, no, we're gonna... That's how bad this run's been. Like, th this is unprecedented amounts of bad luck in this run. Because, like... I don't get this bad of RNG normally in any, like, I did some practice before this and, or a few, a while ago and I got a 130 something, so, considering everything, I think it's safe to say this is a subpar run. Uh, yeah, definitely. Considering world record's already beaten the game. Yeah, world record's, what, 125? It's 123. I'm just too lazy to upload it because I have a Wi-Fi limit and I, I waste so much waste so much of my time to upload. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> it's yeah, my time my time's like one thirty two. Yeah, so Sub Ami's also dead, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, confirmed better. I've died like six times, but, <laughs> but you're just more skilled than me. Oh, oh my god, gosh. my <laughs> I think my throat's actually gonna like disintegrate in a second. Oh boy. I really should have gotten water. Alright, All right, so while while Ed is fighting uh, Giovanni here, uh, the, the, the obviously after Giovanni is the Elite Four, and I had no idea where the Elite Four was at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, if, if, you, if you don't know where you're supposed to go, you, it'll definitely catch you off guard. So... Yeah. Like, I, I, it, it, the way to get there without saying what it is, is, uh, takes advantage of something that I honestly forgot about with, uh, these games, just because I never do it. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, there goes Giovanni. We're pretty much, uh, approaching the end of this run. Uh, would have been nice to go underestimate, and I'm, I apologize that we're not, we're not. But I, I hope you know that nobody's too mad. I feel like it's reasonable for me to blame a lot of this on RNG. Yeah, you know that's just kind of the nature of uh, Pokemon, Pokemon runs. runs. Yeah. But, but yeah, you have to talk to him. He disappears, and then you go in the door behind him. And... Yeah, that's because Giovanni disappears in the originals if you talk to him as well. So 
Oh, I've got plenty of time. I told my friends I was going to meet them at 7.30. <laughs> Alright, so now we got to shop. we got to buy six full restores. Two revives. I'm going to buy three for safety. Or four, apparently. And five full heals. There we go. And we got to teach some moves just to save us a little bit of time. Yeah, those TMs are going to come into effect now. We're going to be teaching the uh, aforementioned shockwave and also earthquake yeah because uh mewtwo needs something that can deal with pokemon that uh aren't that are, that are actually uh, like decent special defense or resist oh i forgot shockwaves in the same slot once you do that yeah yeah i i, I should have probably done some practice earlier today but i my parents were uh my, my room was having insulation put up in it, so I didn't actually really get a chance. Alright, so here's the, uh... I'm the super strong Jax, you will wish you had never been here. So, he is the super strong Jax. And just in case uh, anyone didn't catch it, yes, we are fighting Bruno first. <laughs> yeah, uh, <coughs> nothing about this game is made well. Interestingly enough, does... you know. Oh, you first. Yeah, uh, you know, Ami, we haven't seen Cynthia in a while. I wonder if we're gonna see her again. Yeah, yeah. She just, she kind of just made a random cameo in the middle of the game, and then just poof, gone. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if we're gonna see her anytime soon. Uh, this is not foreshadowing. I promise. Definitely not. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, um, interestingly enough, though, uh, something about this is um so you fight bruno first and uh, i can't think of the right words um basically if you lose any time between now and when you fight the actual first member of the elite four you don't have to refight uh anything <laughs> really that you've already defeated yeah so if oh, you dang. lose to bruno and uh the next room <laughs> then you're free to just uh. waltz back through them all right, if we get a $50 donation for charity right now, I'll throw my fight against Agatha. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's reach that goal and... Uh... <laughs> let's reach that incentive for me to throw. Because it's also a meme in my chat that I throw because I do throw. I, I, I throw for yeah, content. <clears throat> Don't forget, if you want to donate, just do exclamation point donate, and you can donate to mm -hmm. Child's Play, which is a great cause. And uh, yeah, just a little little more update on that. Yeah. We're at 350 right now. We're looking to get to 400 by the end of today. So let's get those donations in. Yeah, for sure. All right. So we actually shockwave this gold bat just to save a little bit of PP. I don't think we actually need to, but we do anyway. Yeah, it was it was watching. I was watching uh, Ed do like his run with Kyogre, and it was this part of the game here, Bruno and Agatha specifically, that that made me think. If only you had Psychic, because like I I think a couple things with Kyogre are like two KOs. Yeah, Kyogre so has to two. set up a lot of uh, calm minds as well. Yeah, that too. Because Kyogre is just not particularly good. Uh, it's, it's a good Pokemon, and if I feel like if Kyogre was level 70, it'd be close to as good as Mewtwo, but... Yeah, but Kyogre comes at level 50. Mm -hmm. So, 20 levels makes... Excuse me, a... Like, a m massive difference. Yeah, right. for sure. So that's, uh, that's Agatha. It's pretty much half the Elite Four done. Uh, though a lot There's of our... There's definitely, definitely not gonna be anything weird past Agatha's no. door. Death Lord and Life Lord. That might just be some sort of random line. There's no way this is relevant. Oh? Yeah, that, that's just nicknames for the last two Elite Four. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <before> shiny? <laughs> I don't know if that can be shiny. I assume not. I mean, as long as there's not a shiny lock. Oh, yeah. Shiny locks weren't in shiny. introduced in Gen 1 or until, like, Gen 5, weren't they? I believe so. Yeah. yeah, so in theory, that could have been shiny. All right, all right. If this is shiny, I'll donate my life savings. If this is shiny, I'm going to meet goal. Okay, good. I don't have that much. To be fair, my life savings is like, 
Uh, there, I have 20 bucks to my name right now. So that was a bit of a scam. <laughs> Cynthia? Wow. Well, wow. we didn't foreshadow... We, we didn't... We didn't foreshadow this at all. <laughs> this so, is such yeah. a... Also, nice sprite. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I believe we shockwave here. Ooh. No, we swift turn one, but... It... But, uh... Um... Ooh. Then... Oh. Ah. If we had crit there and it didn't hail, that would have been nice. Oh. Uh, we need to check our special attack when we level up as well. I'm just gonna swift this time. Um... But yeah, uh, so now if you, I don't know if it's before, I don't know if you have to beat more lie, uh, and then you have to refight Bruno and Agatha if you lose, or yeah. if it's just now because I don't know. you've entered the first room, but. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was a thing, off. so I, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell you. I yeah. haven't. It, it, right. it, 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 it's, it, it's just bizarre, like how that works. There's actually a good thing about Lapras in that it has a berry attached to it, so it doesn't heal after shockwaving. Or it doesn't heal after you shockwave it. So, like, there's no. So, if you put it in a red, a red, it still wouldn't heal because it citrus berry brings it up to enough health that it's no reason for it to full restore or hyper potion or whatever. So, that yeah. actually makes it so that you could shockwave Lapras twice and not have to worry about anything. Alright, so right here we're gonna get to see our. Uh, uh, special attack. So I think yeah. I forget I, what a good special. No, attack I think is it's somewhere in like the two uh, two forty or more. Yeah, plus you've leveled up. Oh, two forty nine. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. You did get five special attack in that level up, <laughs> and I don't know what it was that level seventy one. But yo, uh, wait, that wasn't a crit. I'm just not smart. Never mind. What? That wasn't a crit. Wow. I genuinely, is it because, oh, that's weird. I've never seen that kill in one shot. Yeah, that might have been a damage roll. Who knows? Or maybe your special attack is just that good. Because I'm pretty sure. You know, let's check uh, that just for the memes. It's not like we're naughty. That's not even plus special attack. All right. God. 249 neutral nature. I wonder what that is. Uh, that's got to be pretty go. good. Let's see real quick. At level 72. All right, so we ether here, and we ether the only move we actually use, pretty much. All right, uh, that's almost thirty-one. Oof. Okay. Well, I guess our luck finally did turn around. I don't know exactly how many EVs yeah. uh, you get from the trainers. Still, that's really pack. solid. But thirty-one or two forty-nine with no EVs is thirty-one IV. Yeah, so that's not... It's probably, like, 30 or 30... Or 29, sorry. Yeah, probably somewhere around there. Maybe That's really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Mewtwo's special attack is as picky as Zapdos' attack. Yeah, Mewtwo's special attack works with literally anything. Like, you could have minus special attack and it's still runnable. It's still very, like, fairly playable. It's not ideal, yeah, but uh... it doesn't kill a run. Right. Yeah, whereas with Zapdos, he wants a decent attack yeah. IV and a neutral nature. I don't think I've... I don't know when the last time I got plus special... Or plus attack Zapdos is, or if at all. I really don't. It would have been really nice if we could have switched Zapdos and Mewtwo natures. Uh, yeah, definitely. That would have been amazing. Because that would have been modest and naughty, and that's... That, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, because naughty is a plus attack nature. I think it lowers mm. special defense. Yeah. And yeah, we don't so. really use special defense because uh, poison's a physical type. Physical move. Yeah, and Kyogre's the only spot where we take damage. Or not Kyogre, Koga. Okay. <laughs> so he just told us to go away. Kind of hurt my feelings, so. Uh, just well, because guess... he told me to go away, we're just going to not listen to him. If he just asked a little bit more nicely, maybe. Maybe we wouldn't have to fight Lum. But this is the end of the run, pretty much. And this is. Uh, I really like the music in this game. That, that's that's the only... <laughs> if if my comment on the music hints at anything, this is not much of an intense fight. <laughs> if the fact that the only comment I have is on the music. 
Alright. We're gonna Psychic Pidgeot because Pidgeot goes down in one Psychic. Uh, ooh. We actually save a turn here because of our good special attack. Alright, Gyarados. I think we could probably Psychic Gyarados, but I'm not gonna risk that. Because if it doesn't, then I'd rather just not suffer the consequences. Yeah. So, so, yeah, final trainer in the game. Yeah. It looks like we're finally done with the bad sprites, but don't worry. Don't worry, you'll get backstabbed by the veggie burger looking fucking Venusaur. I, that's the first. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I hold my, held myself to one swear word in an entire speed run. <laughs> that's like a new record for me. <laughs> Actually, veggie burger. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's Venusaur. Yeah. <laughs> Don't that... worry, it'll, it'll be taken care of fairly quickly. There's Venusaur. That's the last comment I'm going to make for this run. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. It's, it's pretty much over, so... I guess as soon as this finishes up, we're going to uh, be approaching a time here. Don't yeah, think we the got... the first black frame. Yeah, don't think after... we got that sub-estimate, unfortunately. Not sure how far in we are right now, but we definitely didn't. Uh, you're actually looking at the time on the stream here. You're actually at uh, 139.44. Oh, you're come close. on, dude. That's a scam. If I just didn't die to Koga. <laughs> if, I, if we just took out any of my one bad RNG points in this run. All right, well, that's close enough to estimate that, yeah. <laughs> Please welcome me back to the next marathon. I'm desperate. I like this <laughs> game. All right, so... It's close enough. Don't worry about it. All right, uh, yeah, so... We're pretty much done. I'm just gonna. So, so shoutouts to obviously Ami for, for originally getting this game to a better audience or to a bigger audience. That being me and some other people. Shoutouts to someone who's not actually here right now, but Zeke109 did the uh, uh, helped get make this game a bit more speed runnable. He made a custom set of notes that were more beginner friendly out of mine. So that's really nice. Shout out to JTH, whoever that guy is. And yeah. So, uh, and shout outs to obviously the Horror Horrible Games Marathon and uh, them for having us here and the Child's Play Foundation. And, all right, three, two, one, time. Ooh, we're cutting out. Anyway, um, so I assume that was like 141 or something. So, fun little fact, I accidentally reset at the time. Whoops. <laughs> <sighs> I it was, uh, you know what, I that's... It was 140, I believe it was 140.07. Yeah, someone in chat said 7.7 .7 seconds overestimate, so that would be... <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Okay, so can, yeah. just for memes, can we can we all can we all say that one nine one why not decided the estimate here? <laughs> if I'd gotten one less uh, why not? Yeah, sure. That, I, that's probably fairly accurate. I, I I like making excuses if you can't tell. I don't like owning up to my own flaws. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> so much. Seven seconds over. Don't worry about it. That's, that's a, you you got estimate for all, for all we care. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you to everyone for showing up. Thank you for uh, anyone who was able to entertain this absolute crap show of a run. I really appreciate it. A, a, a crap show of a run for a crap show of a hack? Yeah. I, it's a very <laughs> fitting run for a very bad game. So. Uh, oh, hey, we saw Charizard Sprite for like half a second there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess we can hand it back over to uh, Kuno now. Thank you so much uh, to Ed Head Ed Head SR for that ridiculous run of Pokemon Ultra Any Percent. Definitely a sight to behold for sure.
Thank you again so much to Edhead SR for that Pokemon Ultra Run. What a silly time. Um, definitely stick around. Up next.